and be the guy I'm excited. Um, you know, coaches are letting us compete. They're letting us uh, have fun, try out different rotations, cross train us. So it's a great opportunity to compete. You and Portland came in at the same time. Yes, sir. Where, just watching him, where do you feel like he's taking big steps? Oh, he's taking great jumps too. You know, he's a great player. He's got a, he's got a um, great ceiling. So, you know, I love competing with him and playing next to him. When you run with the ones, yes, sir. what's it like playing with that much experience next to you? Because the other four guys have a lot of football. In Absolutely. You know, it's, it's great to lean on those guys, you know, when there are things that they pick up on and, and help you out, you help them out, you know, stuff like that. It's definitely great. What was the biggest thing you took from the life during soccer school? Um, I tried to take a lot of things from ABT. You know, he was a great guy all around. He was a great pro on and off the field. I think the biggest thing with him was just the daily work ethic and consistency. He was the same guy every day. He was dominant every day. It was really impressive. How difficult was it for you to sort of gain that confidence when you were kind of pampered by COVID and just that being how you started your college career? I think um, I just try to keep tunnel vision. You know, you have good days, bad days. You have good plays, bad plays. It's always just, you know, what's up with this present moment? What's up with this next play? Just locking in, doing my job one step at a time. We didn't see you on the left side much in the spring. Were you surprised that you got that opportunity out there? Here? Um, in one sense, I was. In one sense, I wasn't. You know, like you said, I've been right mainly in spring, but also I'm ready to compete at any spot, you know, and do whatever the coach is asking. Me. We thought it was pretty impressive today. What was your self-analysis of what you did? Uh, you know, there's always there's always positives, there's always negatives, there's always a lot to clean up. So, you know, try and look at the positives and keep working on those and correct those negatives like uh, any other practice. Where do you feel like is the biggest part of your game that you need to work on right now? I just know I need to keep building in all aspects. Keep building uh, physically, fundamentally, fundamentally, schematically, and technically.